This is a tutorial on how to do diamond patterns and zigzag patterns in roofing in The Sims 4. You can see on my screen that we have one of each, a roof with diamond patterns and a roof with a zigzag pattern on it. I'm going to show you how to do each of them. Uh, they're both actually quite similar to each other, so I'm going to display both of them on this same empty room that we have in front of us. The basic thing that you do to build these is just stack a bunch of hipped roofs on top of each other. Almost everything is just going to be hipped roof upon hipped roof upon hipped roof, as you see. Uh, it's just the, the top ridge that is anything other than hipped roofing in all of this, or half hipped roofing sometimes around the edges. Um, so let me show you what I mean by that. The first thing we need to do here is to make something that's going to be our top ridge. Um, but I also want to have something that's going to give me a height guide. Uh, and you'll see why right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a hipped roof. I'm just going to put it, you know, somewhere, well, I'm going to put it right out to the edge. Somewhere out to the edge of uh, my section that I want to roof. And I want to make it square in shape. It doesn't have to be. Uh, there, are, I can show you ways that it doesn't have to be. Um, but just for the sake of ease of the demonstration, I'm going to make it square in shape. And its top point right here is going to be my height guide for the entire roof structure. All right. So I'm just going to leave that here for a minute. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build what is eventually going to be the top line of my diamond pattern roofing. And for that, what I actually want are these half-hipped roofs. I don't actually want to use a gabled roof. It looks almost like a gable. The whole entire structure is very gable-like. But eaves actually get tremendously in the way of this kind of a roofing structure, which is really unfortunate because I would like to be able to use eaves in these structures much more easily. I do actually use eaves in Rivendell. Uh, the building that I've used that has these roofing patterns in it, um, but they have much more roof, much more complicated roofing patterns than I'm going to show you here today. For example, Rivendell as a whole has 446 roof pieces, individual roof pieces in it, and each of these structures alone only has about 15 or so. Um, all right, so I'm going to take a half-hipped roof, and I'm going to put it so that it's facing one of my short edges, and I'm going to make it the entire length of the whole piece that I'm on. And I'm going to raise it, let's say, four. One, two, three, four. And now I've lost my little guide piece that I had for roofing, but what I want to do is I'm going to make this concave, which lowers its height, until we go and find that height guide. That's my height guide right there. And that's actually basically perfect. What I want to do is I want to line up this top ridge with the point of my guide piece as much as I can. And I've pretty much done that. I'm just going to make it a little bit lower to make it a little bit easier. All right, now I want to do the exact same thing facing the other direction. I want to take a half tip roof. and have it fill the entire piece. And the reason why I'm filling the whole entire piece, even though a lot of this edging is going to overlap, is because it's much easier to align two half-hipped roofs that are facing in opposite directions if they're the exact same size as each other uh, than otherwise. So for instance, it would be much harder for me to line them up if this one was shorter than this one. I want to make them both the exact same size up one, two, three, four, and then down by making it concave until we're at about the same height. This isn't quite the same height. That's pretty good. That might be exact. Um, it won't necessarily matter. Actually, it's not exact. This one's a little bit lower. But it doesn't necessarily matter because the points of, uh, of my triangular hipped roof pieces are really going to obscure it. Okay, so now what I have is my top line. I'm just going to make that green so that you can see it from now on. This is going to be my top line of my roof. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and I'm going to overlap half-hipped roofing 
throughout the whole roofing project until I get right there that sort of a structure okay now how do I get the bits on the side well you use your half hip roof again and you just make it half the length of whatever your uh, full hip roofing is so these are uh, diameter of six so I made this three there we go now that's gonna be all of our yellow pieces and now to get the green roofing on the bottom actually let me just do a, a little recap so the reason why these stick out they all go to the same height but the the top piece I've made it all concave so that it digs down slightly underneath my uh, hipped roofing pieces so that they stick out on top and these are the ones that stick out on top the the lower the roofing piece is in the visual see the yellow pieces are lower than the green pieces visually the lower the roofing is in the visual the higher it has to be overall from um, an actual standpoint of, of of height off of the ceiling now what i'm going to go and do is put some more hipped roofing pieces through and make them high enough that they stand out and they really only have to go one measure higher than the pieces that I already had there and as you can see once I've pulled them all up and made them green that is how I make diagonal roofing I have a highest level which is made out of two half hipped roofs facing opposite directions that are the full length of the piece that I'm trying to roof and then I just have overlapping full hipped roofs that go all the way to the top and then I have not quite overlapping um, just because the width of the base is smaller uh, half hip roof pieces that come up to a point where the overlapped pieces meet that's really all you have to do this one didn't go all the way through and that is how you make the diamond pattern in roofing now to make the zigzag pattern in roofing is very similar all you do instead uh, you do the first two steps the exact same way but on the bottom you just make pieces where the point is right underneath a higher point you know we've got a yellow point that goes all the way up to the top so I'm gonna make a green point that is directly underneath it and I can do that just by changing the position and the dimensions of my half hipped or my full hipped excuse me my full hipped roof pieces I do however once again need half hipped roof pieces on the sides now the zigzag is a little more problematic on the edge because when I get those half hipped roof pieces onto the side to finish out the zigzag pattern it makes the very edge of the roof not quite straight you can see that here it jogs a little bit um, and it looks especially bad when you put trim on it um, it's sort of disappointing that you can't really do it any better than that right now in the game well you can but it takes a lot of adjusting of heights and concavities and a lot more time than I would want to take just for a tutorial so what I've often done um, when I've tried this so far in a game is you can just put another structure you know you can just say put a tower right here on the end of of this building
and it obscures the fact that the roofing pieces don't really match up very well. Most of roofing, honestly, if you get into really complicated roofing, is about hiding the things that don't work. Um, if you start taking away one of uh, my more complicated buildings, one roof piece at a time, you'll notice that there are a lot of weird edges that just don't seem to match up with each other that are covered up by another roof section. Uh, a lot of roofing is really just smoke and mirrors. Uh, you've got to figure out a way to cover up the ugly stuff and let all the pretty stuff show. So that is how you can do diamond patterns and zigzag patterns in roofing in The Sims 4. Um, there are certainly more complicated ways to do this to uh, make some more fantastic effects and to use things like eaves in the roofing, but it takes a lot more time. And I'm sure that if you can get a handle on how to do the diamond patterns and the zigzag patterns the way that I've shown you here, you can play around with it and uh, figure out some ways to really personalize these techniques and uh, refine them in ways that suit your own building uh, methodologies. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you have any comments on this one or any of the others or any requests on kinds of tutorials that you might find helpful for the game in the future, please let me know. Uh, you can find me usually in the forums.